All right, guys, today we are back at it again with another unboxing video. And uh, today we got the AK Storm. And this is the most ironic thing ever because I made a few weeks ago that I want to quit Airsoft and I don't want to buy any more guns anymore. But the only reason why I'm getting this is because I recently went to a game and I had one of the most fun days of Airsoft I've ever had in my life. And it kind of just revitalized the entire sport for me. That was after taking a long break. So we are going to get the AK Storm right here. And I wanted to have an AK platform that I could use all season. And the AKM GBBR is already out the window in terms of use for the rest of the year. I mean, I guess winter season. And I wanted something I could actually yeet mags with and have a really, really nice versatile um, AK. A lot of people thought this gun looked really cursed. I thought so too. But I only thought that because of the influence of my friends, because they're all like AK purists and they think it looks cursed. After a while, after actually using the AK platform with the GBBR AKM, I really miss the modernization and ergonomics of like a rail, for example, and like M lock pieces and stuff like that, and proper stock and magwells. And I missed that. So I thought, you know what? The AK Storm is probably the best option for me. I was gonna get the AK 102, but it didn't have a bolt stop function, which you guys know is a big thing for me. Here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the AK Storm, everybody. Woo! Man, it is sexy. Sexy boy. Sexy girl. Honestly. It's like a modern crink off. It's like a crink, because I originally wanted a crink. I wanted something in a short barrel. And if I attach like a suppressor to it, it'll be long, right? And man, it's nice. It's actually really light. We're gonna go tip to butt. We have a custom flash hider here by Tokimarui. It is a counterclockwise, yes. And it has a nice O-ring. So does it get stuck to reveal a 14 millimeter counterclockwise Thing, so you can just go ahead and throw a tracer on there and do whatever you got to do. Marui quality, man. You just can't go wrong. You go move on to the iron sights here. So these iron sights are actually really close to more of a AK-74, AK-74U style rather than the AK-47 as the back leaf is a little bit different. And it's actually really, really nice. and very, very, very clean to see. I actually might be able to use iron sights with this, but most likely not. Going on to the handguard here, it is plastic. This is plastic. The M-Lock is also plastic, which was, I was, I was kind of disappointed. I thought the M-Lock would at least be metal, but I guess not, but whatever. I guess scratch is less. Um, I do kind of worry about it when I yeet the mags, it might break it, so I don't know. But whatever, it's a welcome addition just to have M-Lock on here. This is actually where the battery will be stored. So you just lift up this little switch here and you'll be able to take this off. I'm gonna be using the tiny ass a uh, vector battery, so we shouldn't have a problem fitting a battery in here. The back leaf is Picatinny 20 millimeter, so I can just throw in an optic on here like that. So that should be no problem at all. You could also switch it out for a micro pro site uh, proprietary mount, which would be good if you actually had one, but I don't use that shit, so. Move on to the receiver here. It actually is metal along with the, the sight block here. And that's nice. It actually has a paint style that actually makes it look like it's worn. So that's pretty cool. It's actually kind of pre-jank. So that's pretty cool about that. I appreciate that. We have the dust cover here as well, which is removable. So removable dust cover, also metal. And here we have the bolt system, which you can see is actually functional, which we will get to later. And you can see the hop unit is revealed right there. Just regular wheel style. So if you wanted to use a different dust cover, you have to do a lot of modding to it. So we're not gonna be changing that unless we feel confident in modding it, but we're not gonna be doing that. The safety selector switch is actually changed. So it actually has a protruded little le lever here. So you could actually easily go onto that. Quite solid, to be honest with you. Not very, not a lot of play. Very solid. Full auto, semi-auto. Full auto, safe. And you can rack on safe and all the same. It's all the same there. Move on to the mag. We have a mag well here. So a lot of people uh, don't like this mag well, but Honestly, it's hella ergonomic and I like magwells. That's one of the hard things for an AK user if someone is not used to it is actually be able to rack that thing in. Obviously you could practice that, but I, I'd rather have that ergonomics as well. And you can see it does have a proper notch there to rock that thing in. And you could actually put an adapter inside 
that you actually get with these parts here and you can use standard magazines but I want the bolt stop function so I will be using the uh, NGRS magazine there. Trigger here according to Maksaka is a one pound trigger oh sorry one kilogram trigger it's pretty tight Let's put that down mechanical of course no side mount option which is fine and we have a sling point and the pistol grip it's very nice pistol grip actually. I didn't like the AKM pistol grip, so this is nice and beefy. And there's the motor, it can be housed in there, and it's really, really nice. And we move on to the stock here. It looks like it's proprietary, so it has a proprietary kind of buffer tube thing, plastic buffer tube, which I think is kind of weird, in my opinion. Um, feels like that could just break, but I guess it'll be fine. Um, now, whether or not you can change out the stock or not, I'm not sure, but it looks like you can change out the buffer tube and maybe I can put on like one of my uh, Picatinny buffer tube adapters or something like that. Um, I wonder if you could take off the stock and switch it out for a CTR stock or something, but it seems like it's just a normal buffer tube. So you know what, let's go ahead and get my CTR real quick and see how that goes. All right, so I have here my real steel CTR Magpul stock um, and we're gonna see if it fits on here and it seems like it does yes it does it fits no problem at all and this will be cool to have too so I can actually maybe use this for um, another gun or something like that not sure what I'll use this one for but um, this is like the uh, MTR stock which you can put has a QD point you could also switch this piece around so it actually has the same kind of shoulder pad as the CTR but I think we're, I think I might go with the CTR this thing's pretty dope so let's move on to the magazine now magazine is 90 rounds boys and girls 90 round magazine now I'm not sure if it has a 30 round magazine uh, switch in it but we will check that later let's see how the ergonomics go Wow Wow, nice, that Magwell, like you could just slip this thing in and it'll go in very easily. Unlike the, uh, unlike the, um, the gas blowback, where it's really hard to uh, get it in, you could even just almost M4 style this thing. Wow, that Magwell is amazing. Holy shit. It's so weird not having a, a full travel. There's a lot of resistance on this on this spring here, um, but it's weird not having full travel, like how my, how it is on my uh, gas blowback. So really cool, really really nice, cool. I like it. Now let's test that response. Oh, sorry, before we go to that, let's see the uh, M-Lock attachments we have here. So we have some M-Lock pieces, which I'll be placing on there. Uh, we have a hand stop, which is included, which is really dope. And we have some M-Lock covers as well. And of course, the uh, proprietary sight uh, mount for those who are interested in that. I don't use that, so we're not gonna be dealing with that. But let's test the function and see if it shoots. Oh, we have one more piece in here. This is probably BB's. Yep, BB's front sight post and Allen wrenches. And yes, the adapter for the standard magazines if you want to use that. But we're not gonna be touching those for now. And we're gonna go straight to the operation of the gun. All right, so we have our GeForce Noir 1300 7.4 20C light bulb battery. It has uh, probably a decent amount of charge in here. Um, and we're gonna see if it fits and all that, and then test the operation for that. Put the battery in like this. It should have tons of space because it's supposed to be used with the Mini S. It's supposed to be used with the Mini S, so there should be tons of yo yo space in here. Like that, line it up. And there you go, it doesn't pinch any wires. And there we go. Wow. That is some nice recoil. Oh, again, you can't spam the trigger like that. Wow, that's actually like nice full auto recoil.
that trigger is quite heavy. So let's see. Obviously, if you, if you do this shit and you half pull the trigger, obviously it's not gonna go. But if that does lock up, you just go to the auto and you just go from there. Definitely gonna be customizing this trigger response. Unfortunately, you can't you can't put in a uh, Titan. Well, you can, but a lot of mods. That's nice. Now, magazine has a auto stop function, so if I shoot, that's it. It's not gonna go. So you have to rack it. So when I actually have to do reload it. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so if that happens, okay, if it does lock up, you have to go on full auto and rack it. So we're definitely gonna be customizing this thing so it doesn't lock up. So it locks up there. So definitely gonna be customizing that trigger response to prevent that lock up from happening. Which can be easily done in reverse if you full auto and rack that charging handle. So, on the magazine, you could press this switch here and you could turn off full auto. I mean, you can turn off the follower so that no matter how much you shoot, it'll keep going. So this would be great for drills. You know what I like about this? It looks like a Galil A sometimes. I would not recommend doing that as this is barely metal. Yeah, you do get the lockup, so you have to go to full auto, so definitely. Has the expected response of an NGRS. Nothing really special, but that recoil is quite nice. All right, boys, cool. Time to test the reloads. Tactical reload. Nice. Honestly, this, that seems more ergonomic to just throw it on the ground. You can yeet, you can yeet it. It does take some practice, so. not bad so what we're gonna do we're gonna test the chrono and then some accuracy so we got some 0.2 bbs by marui we're gonna load into this magazine and it shoots about 90 so it's gonna be 18 rounds or something like that and we are gonna chrono this thing and see how that goes all right in usual in usual fashion our little futon chrono 0.6 hop zero and we got 0.2 gram base. Here we go. 94, 93, 93, 93. Not bad, 95, 94-ish, pretty good. Just that hop, eh, like halfway or something. 93, wow. 94. So 94-ish, if you still wanna use it inside so okay pretty cool pretty cool now we're gonna test seven accuracy so this is a common accessory most people have and it fits very snug and it looks great it actually looks fucking great that's awesome all right so this is by no means a perfect test at all 
Um, but we're just gonna see just the initial accuracy and everything. So we have a target over there, as you guys can see, and we're gonna go from there. Here we go. Semi-auto, got a racket. bad that's pretty murdery standard let's try it again a little bit faster if we can the thing with the ngrs is you have to full pit full pull trigger cool <laughs> solid you can't go wrong with murdery on that one all right, so that was pretty good. Accuracy is pretty good. Response is respectable for an NGRS. Of course, we're gonna be changing that. Let's go ahead and see if we can put on, if we can't put on these parts here. So if you wanna put on the M-lock pieces, you gotta use the included. You don't have to use it, but go ahead and get yourself a 2.5 millimeter. All right, I guess a two millimeter. Slide it on like this. Slide them in like this. You install it like that. And this is made out of plastic, so so of course you can put other pieces on here as well. You don't have to use the proprietary parts, but this means you could heat your mags. All right, so one thing I wanna check is the magazine. If it has a switch inside. So we're gonna check. I doubt it will have one because it's older tech. Then again, the MP5 didn't advertise it, but you were able to do it anyway. So let's see. Aha, there is, there is a switch. There is a mother switch, of course there is. There you go, boys and girls. If you need to switch to 30 round mags, right there. There is a switch, boy. That's good because that was gonna be a deal breaker for me, because you guys know from my content, man, I make, you know, the ammo counter and to not have consistent 30 rounds is really, really, really annoying. But there you have it, boys. We have a 30 round mag. And I was, I was like wondering, like, you're looking at all the websites and it's like, oh, there's no, it's only 90 rounds. I'm like, what do you mean there's only 90 rounds? There had to be a switch and there was, and there was. All right, guys, so that has been the AK Storm and it's fine, it's awesome, it's sexy. Um, it shoots how it was expected to be from an NGRS, but we are gonna be making upgrades to that soon. And honestly, guys, Let's go ahead and dress this thing up the way we're going to use it, just like that. All right, guys, so we finished dressing up our little AK here. Still some stuff we gotta kinda work out, but we're gonna go tip to butt. So the first part is, um, I actually really like the, the way the blaster looks on here, so I might actually like perma keep this on or at least get a, a longer muzzle flash. I think that's kinda what I wanna do for that. Um, in terms of the flashlight here, we got a flashlight. Of course, you always gotta have a weapon light, you never know. It's always good to have it. And that's attached with the included M-lock rail, and then we got M-lock covers here. And I originally had this cloud defense piece here. That was on here, but the way that I gripped this rifle, um, I just naturally C-clamp it. So I just, I just decided to opt for regular, Erection tape with a tape switch like that super easy that way. It's also a little bit a little bit ambidextrous not too ambidextrous But the, the flashlight does get in the way so it can't be too ambidextrous, but you know what I mean, so that's good um Left the hands off the way it is put the rail covers here. We're gonna be using our hollow Sun uh, 503 CU and we're gonna be using with the regular red dot and maybe for CQB, use the EOTech red dot for that. Very nice low profile. Cover up that stupid uh, uh, logo because it's really obtrusive and annoying. So we're gonna keep it like that. And for the magazine here, um, we're just gonna keep the stock one 30 round, 30 round switch. And as you can see here, we already have some damage on the Picatinny, the plastic Picatinny rail. Um, so I don't wanna eat these mags and it's actually less efficient to do this. Um, so it's actually easier to grab from here, just eat it out like that and grab it. So just one. Eat it, throw it out of the way, and just go from there, and then rack from there. For example, do a 1R1. And it's a lot easier that way. So that's gonna be the standard reload for that, and of course our attack reload, just simple and like that. 
A lot easier than doing the gas blowback. And then we have the CTR. We actually switched it out for the CTR real steel one because the polymer feels a lot better on this and it's just an overall sturdier stock. So keeping the CTR on like that. But for now, this is what we're going with guys. And the AK Storm is a beaut. I actually kind of learned how to fire this thing actually. So without it locking up, It's really about just finding the wall and just training with it. So honestly, it's great. I think it's great. Um, probably gonna do some adjustments later on. Maybe change out the loadout, but when that time comes, that time will come. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. This has been the AK Storm, and we'll see you guys in the field maybe next month. All right, guys, see you next time.